Hello, I'm Andrea Zonka. Welcome to the SDSC Summer Institute 2021. This is the class on advanced uh, Git and GitHub. If you go to the repository of the Summer Institute, you click on 1.4b advanced GitHub. This is going to um, show you the requirements uh, for this tutorial. And uh, in this video, we're going to detail all the different steps that we'll go through during this tutorial. And then we'll start the hands on tutorial and we'll cover steps from zero to four. So if we click on this other GitHub repository link, he, in this README, there are 10 steps that we will follow. So let's first um, take a quick overview. So first of all, let's describe the scenario that uh, we're going to play through during this tutorial. So we assume that there is this package, which is a Python package, which is uh, called the conversion. And this has some software, which is conversion.py, that implements some very simple functions, OK, to convert dollar to cents and gallons to liters. And um, we are going to check out the content on the, of the repository and we are going to test it. So there is a test uh, file that runs some asserts. So we're going to get some failures if there are any errors here. And um, as sometimes happens when you use some open source uh, tool, there is a bug in this software. And so we are going to uh, run the test and we will find that there is a bug. And then we can start to play with history. And then um, we can identify what commit caused the error. And then we will prepare a fix for this bug. Of course, we want to do that in a separate branch. And then finally, we want to contribute it back to the original uh, developer creating a pull request on GitHub. And until step four is what we will cover in this video. Next, we will assume that the original developer has created a new commit. And so we want to merge that new work into our uh, fix bug branch. And so we'll do that. And then we'll um, also do another scenario where um, we're going to have some conflicts between the work done upstream and the work done in our fixed bug branch. And finally, we will do two other uh, quite um, destructive operations. So we want to be uh, sure we know what we're doing. So we want to erase a commit for history, and then we're going to uh, play with harder reset. And then finally, two uh, steps that are a bit separated, but are, I think, very important. One of them is we're going to set up continuous integration for our package. So we want to set a GitHub action so that our Python module is executed um, after each commit so that we can find if there is any bug immediately. And this is one of the greatest features of GitHub. And then we will... Um, publish a version of uh, our conversion software uh, to the GIST service, just uh, for uh, sharing it very quickly with other developers. OK, so let's get started. Um, you should log in to Expanse. And so you should have your terminal. You should be logged in as your training user. OK. So first of all, we want to make sure that we don't have the Anaconda module loaded, because there are some conflicts between the Anaconda module and uh, Git itself. So if you have Anaconda, the Anaconda 3 module loaded here, please unload it with, Anaconda, with module unload Anaconda 3, OK? So that if you do module list again, you don't have Anaconda. OK, then first, uh, I'd like uh, to introduce you to GH. So GH is the GitHub client. So you see here uh, the repository. And it's a command line client where you can access 
a lot of the GitHub features just from the command line. For example, you, you can look at the issues that are in a repository, or you can look at the pull requests, you can check out the code that someone else contributed, so it's very, very useful. And um, we have it installed on Expanse, okay, on a specific module. So we do module load GH, okay. So if we do uh, which GH, we see that now it's available. So GH dash version, okay. Now let's go back to the top and clear. Okay, so we have GH installed, so let's uh, follow the instruction at zero preparation. So first of all, we want to log in uh, with our GitHub account so that our uh, Git repositories that are on Expanse are automatically linked to our Git, um, GitHub account. So we do git out login, okay. We want to log into github.com. Here we want to use SSH, which uh, so that we don't have to type the password. And uh, we don't have an SSH on our training account, so we will create one with no um, passphrase. And then we uh, want to log in with a web browser. Okay. And um, we have, um, this gives us this uh, one-time code. And um, we don't have, of course, we are running on Expanse. We don't have a browser there. And so this tells us to uh, go at this uh, URL. So we can copy this and paste it into our browser. Okay, here um, I am already logged in on GitHub. If you are not, this is going to ask for your uh, username and password to log into GitHub. And then we have our one time code right here in our terminal. And we can paste it into the GitHub prompt, click continue, and then we can authorize uh, GitHub. So basically, this is adding the SSH key that we generated on um, Expanse to our um, to our GitHub account. So now you should be logged in as your uh, username on GitHub, and at this point we can. Um, clone the repository. So we do gh repo clone, and then the um, organization, the username, and the name of the repository. Here we go. So now you see we have the conversion to fix folder here. We get to the top. Okay, so we um, checked out the repository. And finally, we do the configuration of uh, the Git configuration. So uh, set here your first name and your last name. And then uh, configure, configure your email address. Better if you use the same email address that's on uh, uh, GitHub. Okay. Um, then uh, zero B is just to reset the status of the repository. In, in case you get lost, the status of the repository is inconsistent. You can uh, look through here to go back to a consistent, to go back to the beginning, basically. Okay, so now we 